guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to share what I packed in my hospital bag. I packed it about, um, I guess three weeks ago. Yeah, because I packed it at 35 weeks and I'm, oh no, two weeks ago and I'm 37 weeks. I have my husband here behind me, behind the camera. Hey guys. <laughs> if there's any disturbances, it's because of him. But we both, I'm not going to go through his, but we both packed our bags. Um, but I am going to show some stuff that I'm bringing for her that's in her bag. We're both taking rolly bags because JB doesn't want to carry <laughs> duffel bags. So we're taking our carry-on bags that we usually use for the airport. Um, and then I have some other stuff I'm going to add that wasn't in there before that we ordered. And I also have a list of things that I'm going to take last minute that I'll share. Jay, can you hand me my phone? Yeah. Okay. So first we have two types. Well, let me go through my bag first. My bag, which I'll probably add some of this stuff in, I have my toiletries, which are just normal toiletries, plus some essential oils and um, some nipple butter, um, and then all the, uh, you know, regular toothpaste and stuff like that. I love this bag. I got it at CVS. It just makes carrying toiletries so much easier. We're also going to take some calming oil and, like I said, the essential oils because I'm going to take two of my diffusers to kind of set the mood in the room so I can be relaxed. And then the calming massage oil so JV can give me a massage. I'm also going to add in here. <laughs> He's laughing, but he learned how to in the pregnancy classes. Some hand sanitizers. I got these, all these things I'm adding now from my newbie subscription box. It's um, a box you can get for newborn babies. Um, so hand sanitizers. These are nipple pads in case I might need those for leakage of my nipples when the, the milk or the colostrum is there. Um, I also have some just regular pads here, which I'll add. Um, then some lotion. And this is a supplement for breastfeeding. I think I'm going to leave that out because I don't know if I'll need that. And this is also a little sample for nipple cream, even though I have some. The one that I got, the nipple cream, it's like an all-natural one. It's uh, Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter, so I think I'll end up using that because it's organic and, you know, it goes into that baby's mouth. And then just a uh, sample size of water wipes. I know they'll have those at the hospital, but... It's good to have some as well. I'll probably use this for myself, to be honest. And then I'm also going to bring some uh, Colace uh, stool softener because um, I've heard that you can get a little bit backed up. And even if you're not backed up, it's kind of hard to go to the bathroom after you give birth uh, because everything's stored on there. So I'm going to bring those. And then I have two pacifiers for her that I just washed. I'm going to put these in a plastic bag first um, and then I'll put them in here. I don't know which one she's going to like but I'm bringing two different kinds. So you see those. Then I got some slippers, some house shoes as we call them in Texas um, for the hospital. They're like the hard bottom so I can clean them afterwards um, and not have to worry about the germs. Um, but these are so soft. I'll link them below. They were rated really well on Amazon because the ones that I have here are from Walmart and they're not the most comfy anymore. Um, and I also got some flip flops from Amazon just to use in the shower at the hospital because I don't want to be putting my feet on the floor there. And so that'll be good to have some flip flops to wear in the bathroom there. And then we have the film for our Polaroid cameras, um, just so we make sure we have enough film. Um, then I'll move to the other side. I have my eye mask because I'm very sensitive to light. So if there's a lot of light in the hospital and I want to get some sleep, I have that. I'm going to have braids, so I'm just bringing a headband to keep my hair out of my face, a hair tie, and a clip. So that's going to be easy. I'm getting my braids redone tomorrow, so that will be all set. I have a brand new SIM card for my camera. So that's all there. Then I just have a sweater to keep comfy in the hospital. Um, I don't know if it's going to be cold. I've never really been in a hospital before, so... 
I'm going to bring that just in case. Um, and then I have like my underwears and my nursing bra. Um, then I have this nursing gown, which I plan to be on after I give birth. And it's just like a very simple gown. I got it on Amazon. It was rated really well. And it has the clips, I'll show you guys, that you can just let down so you can nurse. Um, I don't plan on changing too much in the hospital. I think we're going to be there three days, um, according to our nursing tour. So I'm just going to wear this till I take a shower and get ready to leave. Um, but I'm also bringing this green robe. You can see it's like a very um, rich green color to match um, a swaddle, which I'll just show you that now. It's a swaddle and headband that Layla's going to wear. It's going to be like her going home outfit slash we're going to take pictures of it. It's white and green. has her name on it. I got it from Etsy, and I'll link the store that I got it from. So that's that, and so that's the green robe. And then I'm going to be taking these very sexy diapers. I feel like these are going to be more comfortable than the like mesh underwear that they give you and those big mattress pads. So I'll be wearing these, I think, instead or maybe after. Um, so yeah, the adult diapers. It's like the things you go through when you have a baby. <laughs> and then I also got some of these Tux medicated cooling pads, <laughs> which are also very sexy. <laughs> um, they are for your your parts down there after giving birth because it's going to be very sore and who knows what else is going to be going on. Um, hopefully I don't tear, but um, these pads, are they have witch hazel in them and some other cooling ingredients. Um, and then the last thing in my bag is this kneeling pad. It's a gardening kneeling pad. Um, I'm going to use it in the hospital to uh, do different labor positions as I'm birthing. So I didn't want to have my knees on the floor. I want it to be comfortable. This is a really cheap buy on Amazon. I'll also link that below. So that's pretty much it for me. I'm trying to stay minimalist and not over pack. So I think I did a good job on that. Um, if I'm forgetting anything, please comment below if anything you think that is a must-have that I don't have in here. Um, and I will pack it, and I appreciate all the mommy's advice. Uh, and then I just want to show you guys what I'm packing for Layla and JB's bag. I'm not going to take a whole diaper for, bag for her because they have so much stuff at the hospital already. Um, excuse me, you're making a lot of noise back there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and, uh, but I do want to have her, give her some uh, um, outfit options. So, we have the swaddle and the headband that I showed you before. Um, and then we also have this little hat with the matching leggings with the feet in them. Um, with this little zebra onesie which I think is going to be so cute. Little zebra onesie. You can see that. So that's one outfit option for her. Then I have like three pairs of like little socks for her. Just like neutral colors. Um, then I have a blue jean skirt, which I'm going to put with this like, uh, it's still in the wrapping. Um, I don't want to wash it because I feel like going to maybe unravel, but it's one of those little headbands with the the knots on it with her blue jean skirt and just like a white shirt with that. So that's another little outfit option she's going to have. Uh, so that'll be cute, all of those three together. <laughs> There's JB. <laughs> um, and then... I have this beautiful black big bow with this onesie that she can just wear like maybe the first day she's there just chilling so I can get some cute pictures of her. Um, then I have this one I might take her home in. It's like this really cute little romper that has like a, a little design down the front. I don't know if that will focus to show you. And then this little hospital hat to match it. Maybe too bright. Focus. It's like a white hat. Let me see. A 
with a little bow on it in the front. And I have all these little hospital hats. So that's one that you can wear with that white onesie. Um, and I heard not to wash these because they just unravel. So I'm not going to wash those. But instead of those little hospital hats that they put on them, I'm going to have them put this one on her. Um, it's the same color as the hospital hat, but instead it has like the little bow in the front, which I just think is so precious. It's so cute. The little bow. It's probably a better one. Right? Isn't it so cute? I'm talking about right, like as if you said it was cute, but maybe, hopefully you said it was cute at home. Um, and then I have just another one like that that's in pink and white stripes, so she'll have a lot of little hat options. And then, let's get that. Another little onesie that she got at a baby shower. It's like pink and gray. And then one of those same headbands, but gray. So she's going to have a lot of neutral tones. Black headband, blue headband, and this gray one with the, the little spot on the top. Isn't that so cute? And this fabric is so soft. Um, so she's just, so she's bald headed or if she has hair, she's going to be set to go <laughs> because she's going to have all her little bows and her little headbands to match her little outfits and she is going to be ready. If you're ready, say I'm ready. Um, so that's that. And then we have the Polaroid cameras. We got this one as a gift from our wedding. Um, and it's just a really clear one, better than those other small ones. Um, we're also bringing this soap. JV got at a baby shower that says, love you, dad. Love you, dad. That's in JV's bag. And we're also bringing a little cat. <laughs> we're also not bringing a little cat. And chapstick. I heard you really, really need chapstick. So I'm bringing that. Things like that. Mouthwash for JV. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then also we're going to be bringing uh, our champagne from the baby shower that says pop this when the baby is here. So I'm ready to pop and then we're going to be popping bottles. Okay. Um, probably not. But <laughs> we're bringing it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> JV's telling me to cut it off. So yeah, that's pretty much what's in my hospital bag. Um, let me show you guys, tell you guys what else we're going to be taking last minute. I have it on my phone. So I still need to get a picture um, as a focal point in our hospital um, birthing class. They said we should get a focal point of things to look at when we're having contractions to kind of focus on. So I still need to print one of our wedding pictures I think I'm just going to use. Um, our oil diffusers we're going to take last minute. Our, this Bose speaker we're going to take. I'm going to take a pillow and just change the outside cover last minute. Our chargers, my camera and my charger, a tripod in case uh, JB doesn't want to hold it or my mom doesn't want to hold it. Um, my laptop just so in case I'm bored. My makeup bag that I use every day. I'll grab that last minute. My blue jean dress that I'm going to wear going home. I'm sh I've worn it in previous videos. It's so comfy. I wear it all the time. Um, so I'm not going to take that till last minute my prenatal vitamins and maybe my big white robe that I wear all the time and also my birth ball. Um, so I still obviously use this and I'm not going to put it in the car just yet. Um, so those are all the things I'm going to be taking last minute. So that's pretty much my hospital bag. It's simple. I think it has the main necessities. If you think I'm missing anything, please let me know. And uh, yeah, we're ready. Three more weeks. Please play, please pray for me and the baby and JV and um, I will update you guys soon and I'll probably be back to vlogging pretty soon. I'm going to do on probably one more pregnancy update and then we'll be back to vlogging. So thanks for joining us. Namaste.